A brilliant 11 year old girl won't let a health disorder define her. It's a story that's inspired kids all over the world. And this morning, the Cincinnati native who wrote it is here to talk about her follow up novel. We're happy to have award winning author Sharon Draper back here at Local 12 with us. So good to see you, Sharon. I am delighted to be back. Yeah, I so really am. the first book was called Out of My Mind. It's yes. a New York Times be bestseller, millions of copies sold. Yes. Tell us about your character, Melody. Yeah, Melody um, can't walk, can't talk can't really do anything, but she's the smartest child in the class. Nobody knows it at the beginning of the book. And the, the course of Out of My Mind is her search to c convince people that, hey, I'm as smart as everybody else. I'm as smarter than, I'm smarter than anybody else. She gets on the quiz team and she's the, she's the champion and she knows all the answers and so, by the end of the book, we have figured out that she does has, have intelligence and she can be part of the regular classroom, but she wants more. So and that's she, right. she has cerebral palsy, right? So yes. she has to speak with a computer board? Yes, she yeah. speaks with a board, but she can say just about anything. Okay. She can play songs, she can cuss you out in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, when the sequel is called Out of My Heart. The first yes. one's Out of My Mind, the second's Out of My Heart. It comes out this fall. Did you always have more than one book in mind, or did you just write the first story and come to this one later? No, I had. I, I told people over and over, I'm done. This is a one and done. Mm -hmm. I'm finished. But I've got received thousands and thousands of requests. What happened to Melody? I want to know more about Melody. So Melody continues in Out of My Heart. So now she's a little bit older. Does that mean? Just a year. Okay. Just a year. So how do things start changing for her? Uh, she goes to summer camp. Mm. So she's away from her mom and her dad and Mrs. V who takes care of her. She doesn't have her usual safety guards. She is completely independent on the new people that she meets at camp. So she goes to camp and she meets. She actually makes friends. Mm. She's never had a friend. When you think about oh that. Oh gosh, that's terrible. There yeah. are children who have never had a friend. And so that's hard to think about. Yeah. Why do you think um, your readers, you said you heard from thousands of readers who yeah. want to know more about Melody. Why do you think they connect with her so much? Uh, because Melody has heart. Uh, Melody has spirit, she has spunk. She refuses to be held down by her limitations and she's got lots of limitations. She said, that does not define me and yes, I will be on your quiz team and yes, I will go to camp. She convinces her mother mm. to let her go to camp. Well, you were a teacher for decades Thousands before of years. you started <laughs> writing books. Um, what did you learn about kids as a teacher that helps you in your writing now? Um, well, I, I still am in contact with hundreds and hundreds of young people. They send me emails all the time. And uh, they're honest, they're forthright, they're curious, they're things that they want to know. They don't want to be treated like babies. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to be treated like young adults with thoughts. And children today who are living through this world of a virus and are so sophisticated. And they, they know uh, their online skills are way better than mine. <laughs> and they deserve a book that meets them where they are, hmm. um, if, as far as their intellect and their curiosity about the opposite sex, because Melody finally meets a young man. Okay, well the first book, if you want to get this for your kids, is called Out of My Mind. The yes. second one that comes out in November is Out of My Heart yes. by Sharon Draper. And you can find more information and get in touch with Sharon at SharonDraper.com. I loved talking with you again. It's it, been a few years, but I'm so glad to see you, Sharon. I'm so glad to be back here in Cincinnati. Thank you.